He's big. Eesh, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I if something like that actually gets hooked. Luckily, tarp tarpon are famous for not staying on the line. Got a tarpon. There's a tarpon on. All right, so I'm leaving uh, Port Charlotte. I'm heading over to Sanibel. It's only an hour drive, so I'm gonna get there a little early to check in. But I figured I can go and uh, maybe get some lunch and check some things out. Probably just start fishing right away. What else am I gonna do? Uh, Port Charlotte's pretty cool. It's my first trip here. Um, it's bigger than I thought it was. I actually came here instead of Cedar Key, or I was going to do Cedar Key, but the hurricane kind of wrecked everything, so I came here instead. Also, as I'm a steward, I avoided the whole East Coast because about the hurricane would have destroyed where I wanted to fish, or at least ruined it. Um, so I'm here because of that. And I wanted to try a new place. I always try to squeeze in a new place when I can to maximize the fishing during this eight day period. And honestly, I prefer Stewart. There's a lot of places and I've fished there so many years now that like I know all the spots and I never, I mean, it's it's great. Found a, one place here that's decent. Uh, the Boca Grande Pier was really cool. Uh, and the beach was gorgeous. Um, so, Port Charlotte's a little too big, not quite what I was looking for. Um, Charlotte Harbor's great, I'm sure it's got great fishing, but I just, it's a little too big and you need to traverse it by boat, um, or just spend more time looking for places and I don't have the time to do that. So, uh, I prefer Cedar Key, especially for redfish, I mean, the redfish fishing in Cedar Key is just fantastic uh, and trout so uh, I'm very tired still I still couldn't sleep last night but uh, so the first leg of the trip is done and I'm headed on to the second leg of the trip would have been the third had we gone to Stewart but Stewart got cancelled so I am headed to the parrot's nest in Sanibel now Alright, I need coffee, and of course, donuts. Here's the Tropical Bay Inn, and sweets. If you see any sweets, I guess this is a sweet. Not a bad little place, it's just... I'm not really, I don't really care about the accommodations. As long as it's clean, and there's a bed and a bathroom. So I'm usually a kitchen, although I didn't have time to prepare lunches this, this trip, like I normally do. Um, I don't really care. People were nice, the owners or whatever. There's a pier across the way. I hear there's fish there. I uh, didn't really have time to check it out. So, yeah. Tropical Bay Inn Suites, it did its job. It was very affordable, which I can dig. All right. On to the next spot. Well, I'm packed up and ready to go just opened the door and discovered that it is raining outside. I hate the rain. But it's still sunny. Which means it's just a little flash storm. Probably won't last, hopefully. It was supposed to rain either Saturday or Sunday a little bit in uh, Santa Bella, obviously, and Port Charlotte as well. So... Uh, may kill some of my plans, but it's not too bad. I'll, I'll fish in the rain. I gotta do it. Um, the time to waste, but hopefully it'll it'll blow past pretty quick. It usually does. Ugh. I just hate being in it. All right, time to go. This little store uh, right by my motel is fantastic. It's the kind of stuff that brings back so many memories as a kid. Uh, the kind of little stores all over Florida, just a little convenience store. But the smell in there 
it reminds me of one thing, and that is when I was a kid and I would find a little store like this, I would go right to the candy section and look for Garbage Pail Kids. And I remember being so thrilled whenever they had the newest series, even though series one was like the best and it went away so quick. So if I found series one, I would be insanely excited. And then a new series would come out, always a different color package. Series one was pink, series two was blue, series three was yellow, series four was green, I think. And then it starts, the memory starts to get a little hazy. But I remember even years later, I would find these little stores and just It'd be in that candy aisle and see Garbage Pail Kids years and years after their first runs because these stores, I guess, didn't sell them all. You know, they didn't sell out. So that has a very strong feeling for me. It's, it's really cool. Not to mention my grandmother worked in a convenience store when I was a kid and we would go visit her and she would give us free candy and it was fantastic. Probably the, the greatest thing she could have done. Like the greatest place she could have worked at. And these little stores. I don't know if this is like a new thing where they just have old inventory. But this also is pretty f cool. I don't really drink soda, but they have Surge, for God's sakes. Surge. Egress. Yes, Surge Cola or citrus flavored soda. Kind of cool. Drank that in my days in Colorado all the time. So I had to pick it up just for the taste. All right, on the road. Here we are, crossing the threshold to Sanibel Island. There's the pier over on Sanibel. Uh, just got to Sanibel Island. Still early, too early to check in, <clears throat> but uh, I thought I'd just drive around a bit, check things out. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's a nice hot day, and it's a Saturday, and it's clear skies, so I'm pretty positive. It's gonna be packed everywhere. So I'm gonna hit the bait shops and talk to people. Uh, see if I can't get a gauge on what's going on. Best bet actually might be at night once again, which is gonna suck for the GoPro. Anyway, uh, all right. I'm trying to find salad in Florida. It's very difficult, but I got some. Jerry's Market. Pretty cool place. I found some salad. I'm not happy to eat. I feel like my body has no more nutrients in it from all the sugar and garbage and lack of sleep. So, I need lettuce. Here we are in Sanibel. Just got some shrimp from the bait box. Got some information, and now we're gonna head to uh, Ding Darling because I'm still waiting for my uh, to check into my motel. But I figure I'd start there, maybe head to Bowman's Beach, and then try to get to the pier before sunset and get a spot because I know it's gonna be packed. There's already a ton of people at the bait shop, so it's just the weather's so nice that it's just packed right now which sucks, it means that the fishing conditions, especially the pier and blind pass are gonna be very crowded, maybe even at Ding Darling actually. So, we'll see. Oh, oh baby tarpon, holy shit.